Hey guys. Oh, this chair is creepy. Today I'm gonna be doing a favorites of uh, April. January, February, April, May, June, we're in June. April, wait, January, February, May, June. May favorites. So today I'm gonna be doing a favorites video for May, but actually it's probably for the entire year. And because it's transitioning to a new season, we obviously have to change up our skincare. And so I'll be talking a lot about different skincare items that I've really been enjoying and have actually changed my skin for the better. And as well as that, I have books, fashion, and also, I want to mention that I'm going to be doing an Instagram giveaway soon, so make sure you're following me on Instagram to keep updated on that because I just passed 10,000 followers. That's not much, but you know, it's still a milestone and I want to give back to you guys whenever I can. You might want to get some coffee, tea, decaffeinated, caffeinated, milkshake, whatever you want, and let's get into it. So I went to Forever 21 um, for the first time in a really, really long time. Um, and I bought these earrings that I'm wearing now. They are so cute. This is in silver and it also comes in gold. And I'm always in a dilemma which one to buy. So I bought these ones in silver and then these ones in gold. Don't mind my nails. It's been a rough week. And it'll really just make like something casual look a bit more, I don't know, put together, fancy. And I haven't worn dangly earrings for a really long time since I was a little kid, you know, and you have like this obsession with stick-on earrings or dangly earrings. This one is $4.50, crazy. And these ones were either the same price or $5.90 or something. And on top of that, <laughs> I realized that Forever 21 has really awesome, cute things that you wouldn't really think of buying until you actually see it in person. So I picked up these two lint rollers and look how cute this one is a little wabbit and this one is a little baby bill it's a baby bill so before i used to think lint rolling was you know just for clothes to get the dust off your clothes and jackets and stuff which it is for but i realized you can actually use a lint roller on so many things i'm not even kidding i use this to put like roll over my windowsill and it instantly cleans dust off the windowsill i use it on my bed when it gets dusty i use it on the floor this has been the most life-changing part it gets the hair off the floor just by rolling over it like this you know i still use my swiffer um but on days that i just see it and i don't want to like mop the entire room or the house I just get this and pretty much roll over it done this is what domestication looks like lint rolling the floor the hair. it's just been life-changing so these were so cheap they were $1.90 for two rolls if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond they're like $5 so this was a bargain and then still in line with the homeware kind of random things I got this bath sponge and it's a peach it's a peach look at it it's got this gradient pink orange white color and it's got a leaf on it and um i use these to put my shower gel into i hate using soap by the way and it just foams up on the body really nice and yeah i love it this was like a dollar ninety as well like come on man how can you resist that let's move on to a little bit of makeup so you might have seen this one in one of my tutorials recently um it's the lapcos eyeshadow palette it's got these muted mauve pinky peach shades it's just like a great everyday palette especially for summer you know you want something more rosy more fresh more vibrant and these colors actually work perfectly into an everyday kind of look it's really pigmented it applies on really nicely it doesn't like um skip over you know the eyelids on top of foundation and things like that so really love it and it's really affordable and the same uh website i got this stayful tint lip it's a lip tint and at first i thought they sent me the wrong thing. Yeah, I thought they sent me a nail polish instead because this looks like a nail polish. It just gives your natural lips a boost of color, which is really great because it's not like 
really obvious that you have something on your lips. Okay, so next, um, what do you call it? Makeup items is from the brand Aborian, and if you don't know, they're a Korean and French uh, skincare brand. So they came out with this new uh, CC cream and illuminating face cream. So one is like a strobing cream. You mix it in with the foundation or you can even put it on top of your foundation to give that glowy effect. And this is actually the thing that I'm really excited about because it's a CC cream. It is a light coverage like you're not gonna cover pimples and things like that but for an everyday look you know, you just want to even out the skin tone. This is so great. And the sun just went down. And it's coming back up. I didn't know that when you squirt it out, it's white. And I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be like sunscreen. Or it's going to be really pasty. But as you work it into the skin, and I think maybe the heat activates it or something, it blends like a chameleon into your skin tone. So whatever skin tone you are, it'll just like camouflage into it and give you that light coverage. What is this sorcery? It's not oily, it's not matte either, it just looks like skin. And I just set the eye and cheek and nose and forehead area down with a little bit of powder and I'm good to go. And this just gives a really great, um, it's like not something that you can see right away, like, oh damn, she's wearing highlighter. But it's like this nice glow. You know when you're like pregnant or something, people say you have a glow to you that you can't explain. It just kind of creates that kind of look, so I've been really loving these. And then last of the makeup is actually this primer that I've been using. It's from Innisfree and it's their No Sebum Blur Primer. So anything that says blur primer, you got my attention! <laughs> it does a really good job in making your skin nice and even so that the foundation will apply really nicely. It's not heavy. It's really similar to my all-time favorite, oh, uh, to the Urban Decay um, Complexion Primer Potion. So these are really similar in texture. It's got more of a silicon formula, so that just means that it's gonna smooth over the pores really nicely. I'll leave all the links below so you can find it. Shall we do a little bit of fashion? <laughs> Let's start off with what I'm wearing now. This is like a bowling t-shirt, I guess you can say. It's like not ironed. It's got a rose embroidery. I got it in this lilac shade because it's just something that I don't really wear that often. There's a bunch of different colors. It's got a cuffed sleeve and it's just like really comfortable and there's a lot of aeration opportunities which is why I'm wearing it now because I am about to pass out. I got these fake spectacles. These clear frames have been a thing. They're just kind of cool. I don't know. It looks kind of hipsterish. I don't know. But yeah, on days that I want to kind of not do as much makeup on my eyes or whatever or I just want to cover my bloodshot eyes if I'm really tired, um, then I'll usually go to these frames and they were like five dollars. So, all right. And the last item from Runway is actually this jumpsuit, which is so cute. So it's an off the shoulder jumpsuit and it's shorts. They're shorts and it's got this kind of upper kind of loose, loose goosey kind of thing. So it just sits here. And then what I really love and is really cute is that this is the arm. So it's actually a bow that you tie around your arm here. I'll try, I'll put it on. Hopefully I'm not too lazy. I'm very picky with flower items. I don't like the flowers too small because, you know, sometimes it looks like Mary Poppins kind of grandma style um, or they can look too childish. So flowers, I don't know. I don't have a lot of them because a lot of them I do not like, but I really love this color scheme. It's just um, white. It's like bay off-white maybe. Okay, so now because it's getting hotter, it's getting sunny, obviously we need to reassess our sunglass collection. <laughs> and Kovri, a brand that I've been wearing for a while now, I found out about them maybe uh, last year. I also have their other sunglasses, which I'm not sure which bag is in right now. You know how you just kind of put different lipsticks and sunglasses in different bags and then you lose track. Anyway, so they launched their new 2017 spring collection and guys, it's this kind of, okay, it might be annoying to see 
all the reflections but you can see that it is a reflective uh, silver gray glass it's matte on the side it's got this matte kind of rim details and it's got this kind of tortoiseshell uh, design just on the ear hooker I'm gonna trademark that it's the ear hooker <laughs> I feel that the shape of it can really flatter a lot of face shapes whether you have a more round or you have a more kind of diamond shape and it sits perfectly on my face so like when I smile it doesn't touch you look kind of badass yo like it doesn't suit what I'm wearing now their line is specifically made to fit Asian faces or anyone who has trouble with sunglasses fitting and sitting on your face correctly like if the glasses touch your cheeks or if your nose bridge isn't as high okay so remember I was talking about this closet lab laboratory laboratory um, I picked up two clothing items from their website and I'm in love so the first is this white blouse why I got it was because of the sleeves it's got these bell sleeves and you tie a bow and they open up so they're slitted like this I think it's just really cute when the last portion of your wrist kind of pops out I got this in a size S the rest of the shirt is kind of you know standard pretty much goes with anything so check out this this jumpsuit oh my gosh it's like a navy striped jumpsuit it's long sleeve um, and at the bottom it's shorts and the sleeves kind of flare out just a little bit they're not like super kimono-y where they're like flapping all over the place on the back it's open it actually tapers in towards the waist so it gives a really nice silhouette to the figure and because the lines run vertically through the entire piece it gives you this um, illusion that you know you're taller or slimmer or whatever so yeah this has been my favorite item from the piece and I'm definitely going to go back and buy more from their website so check it out next um, I got these black mules from Aldo I got this on the Memorial Day sale although they weren't on sale anyway I just like bought it <laughs> isn't that funny like you just feel like you need to buy sometimes um, even yeah anyway that makes no sense the main reason I wanted to buy these is that the heel height was the perfect height not too tall where I can't walk around the city in them because now that I live in New York I have to factor in that I'm gonna be walking miles and miles and miles every day like the older you get or the older I get I realize the more I look for comfort rather than aesthetics oh my god that is so sad next minute I'll be wearing like hush puppies or something <laughs> they do run a bit small actually I got a size eight which I usually fit in but for some reason these run a little bit small so my suggestion to you guys is that you get a half a size up because your feet expand when it's really hot in the summer anyway well mine does so yeah so first off I want to tell you guys about this brand that I've been really really loving the brand is called Huxley secret of Sahara so most of their skincare items have a cactus oil or cactus extract in all of their in all of the skincare range this is the essence it's called the grab water the consistency is more like jelly before you put it in the fridge to set it's not completely like watery it still has some resistance to it but mmm it's also got grapefruit extract um, and there's a bunch of antioxidants in this in this essence so how you use the essence is that you wash the face you tone the face and then you put essence on and then you follow that with a moisturizer which is this one and what I do is put a few drops maybe like four drops or four to five depending on how big your face is my face is kind of round so I put four to five drops and I just put that on my fingertips Kind of rub it in and then pat it all over my face and kind of work it in and why i love this so much is that it absorbs into the face almost instantly it doesn't leave a sticky kind of texture it doesn't make the skin feel like it's like it can't move but it just preps the skin for moisturizer to follow like it feels ready to absorb more it helps the moisturizer that you put on top 
absorb into the skin better as well. So that's the purpose of serums and essences. This is a gel consistency cream that you can use day and night. So when it's in winter, you want really hydrating, um, heavier kind of creams to kind of cater to the harsh dry climates outside and when it's cold um, but when it gets warmer your skin naturally produces more oil more sebum it's just more moisture in the air in general so you want to kind of take it back to lightweight moisturizers um, and gel consistency moisturizers especially if you have combination skin and the best suitable formula for this type of skin tone is gel moisturizers for hotter months it was just a really great day moisturizer that sat really well under my makeup and gave me hydration it made the skin like plump and I don't have any like flaking so this just really worked well for the day let me just mention the packaging it is so cute I really love simplicity you know so yeah that's those all right and the next brand that I've been loving that I've actually been using for a hell of a long time now is Derma E. So even before I started this YouTube's thing. And Derma E is all about natural skincare. And you can tell by their packaging as well. It's like no frills. And I love that because sometimes when the packaging is really cute, like we love it obviously, but I think a portion, a big portion of my money is going to the design team to make that packaging. I have three items. So I'll go through them kind of quickly. Um, the first is this, this, this hydrating night cream. So as I said, I use the Huxley during the day because it is that gel. It's lightweight. It won't make my skin profusely like oily. But at night, I still want something a little bit more. Especially if I've done a mask and I've like stripped all the oils off it, I want something nourishing. And this night cream has been my absolute favorite for the entire year. It has almost no scent. Even though the consistency is thicker, it doesn't make me break out, which is one of my biggest fears with thick formulas. If you have dry skin, this will be your creme de la creme because it's awesome. It's got hyaluronic acid, which speeds up cell formulation on the skin. So the second Derma E product I've been really loving is this microdermabrasion scrub. So like you have scrubs and then you have microdermabrasion scrub, which means that the actual scrub particles are so fine that it's almost like a paste. So it's yeah, quite thick and dense in consistency, but the actual scrubs are like so fine. So compared to my St. Ives scrub, those scrubs are really coarse. And my friend also told me that sometimes the coarse of the scrub particles, it can actually cause micro tears in the skin, which makes your skin hypersensitive. And so when you're when you have like sun exposure, it makes your skin super sensitive to that. And that can cause inflammation and things like that. And it can speed up the process of aging. And I was like, damn, this just does such a good job on um, buffing away the surface of the skin really comfortably and if you have a lot of acne scarring I think this will be your best friend because I had a lot lately on this uh, chin area because my period just damn I my period is really sporadic it doesn't come every month so the first two weeks I started using this I realized that the discoloration and the hyperpigmentation on my chin of like old acne scars were slowly but surely going away I highly recommend you check out Derma E and the last one is this nourishing rose cleansing oil you use this to wipe off your makeup to dissolve the makeup in a really nice way I hate 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 you know those like oil and water like makeup things like oh my god that never works you're standing there like with a cotton pad trying to tug away at your eyeball and your eyelashes and it just still leaves these panda marks so i hate those things i only ever use cleansing oils and i think all of you should because it just melts it away with minimal work all i do is really like slowly and gently press it into the skin and it just washes away so this one has a really nice rose scent all right so next is uh some sheet masks that i've been really liking the first is this dr jot clearing solution it's an ultra fine microfiber sheet mask 
It cares for blemish and improves the tone and texture of skin. So I try to use it at least two or three times a week, three maximum, two minimum. <laughs> um, and yeah, this one has been awesome. My skin, I wake up and it just feels so much calmer. I love the, the actual mask texture of this mask. So if you guys don't know, Dr. Jart is a Korean brand and I'm all for Korean skincare because have you seen those celebrities skin? Like obviously they go to dermatologists and stuff, but still Korean skincare is like on point. Um, and the second mask I've been liking is actually kept the packaging for you guys because I was like, damn, this is really good. It's called The Solution. It's from the face shop. It has hyaluronic acid. Tired. I've been talking for so long. All right. Next thing is matcha. If you guys are like me, you'll you'll be totally into matcha lattes, matcha ice cream, matcha pretty much anything matcha. I'm down for. So I came across matcha reserve. I got a bunch of items. I'm just gonna take them out of the box. I have some Gen Mai Cha, which is the organic green tea for like teas. And then the matcha latte, which is in the form, um, like the matcha powder form that you can just add water and some milk and create a matcha latte. Oh my god. What I was so excited about was these matcha powders that were flavored. So I got, tried out a chocolate one, a vanilla one, and I tried this strawberry one. And the strawberry one I picked because I love Boba Guys, and Boba Guys has a strawberry matcha latte. And I was like, damn, I can now make it myself with these things. It says the matcha comes from Yuji um, in the Kyoto region. These aren't sugarized, if that's the right word, um, which is really great because you control the sweetness that you want. So you can see here, this is the strawberry one. They all look obviously like matcha, like they're not going to be pink or anything. And like what just topped it off was that I got these bamboo like preparing utensils along with the matcha in their ceremonies they usually have one of these it's a bamboo shasen i think um chasen so what you do is you whisk the matcha with a little bit of hot water um in a w shape until the matcha dissolves and it kind of froths up a little and that's when you know because otherwise it'll all sink to the bottom and what really piqued my interest that I had to try was this matcha mud mask so it's a anti-acne pore reducer oil control anti-aging deep skin cleansing mask and I'm like oh my god I think I have found everything I've ever wanted in skincare in one tub I've never tried matcha because I didn't even know you could get skincare um, with it, but the Matcha Reserve had one, so I was like, damn, I gotta try that stat. And so when I did, I was like, holy damn. Like this probably is one of the products that have just like blown my mind this month. It is so good, it's really thick. So what you do is just evenly coat your skin in it um, straight after the shower when your pores are open or you can even steam your face with a face towel for a little bit with warm or hot water and then put this mud mask on. It like, your skin just feels like it's been given a facial almost, you know, it feels detoxified. It feels like my skin in the T-zone areas, um, the oils have been like really drawn out. It's really smooth and it has this slight matcha smell. It didn't feel taut. Um, a lot of charcoal masks that I use leave my skin feeling really tight, but this just felt so comfortable and oh, I like cannot believe. This has been probably the most ex exciting, <laughs> the most exciting mask I have come across this year. Okay, so now the last little section of this favorites. I hope you guys are still alive. You with me? You still with me? Don't leave me. <laughs> First, I wanna mention this diary. It's called the five minute diary. And actually, little story, I got this from one of my viewers, so one of you guys, and I was like, not expecting it at all, and I checked my pigeonhole at the office, and I was like, what is this? Opened it, and there was a really lovely card that I still have somewhere here, it's just when I moved, I stored all my cards in one place. I'm like a hoarder with cards. Even if the card says, happy birthday, I keep that because it's like a memory, and it's like a point in time of my life that I can look back. So I got this, and her card was like, 
Her card was really sweet. It said, your channel is really inspirational. You've like inspired me to start on my own course. And she was like, I was watching some videos and this diary has really helped me. And I thought you would really like it as well. Um, and a bunch of other things. But I was like, oh my God, that is so sweet. Like that gives me so much... I don't know, it just makes me feel so good knowing that what I say to you guys, like, has an impact, whether it's explicit or indirect. You know, I always want to share with you guys positivity and, you know, just how to be, like, fundamentally inside a good person and how to get over tough times with the right attitude, you know, because it's all about what's in your head and how you choose to wire your thoughts in your mind. But yeah, this is great. The premise of it is that you spend five minutes every day to write something down that you are grateful for. So in the beginning pages of the book, it has these quotes, but also some definitions of gratitude and why it's important and how it helps into creating like a better mentality and what positive daily affirmations can do to you. And so by filling this out every single day and stating what you are grateful for in that day, listing out the good things that have happened in the day, you will learn eventually and after time and as this becomes a habit, to learn to appreciate things more than you complain about things. It's really great to just put your thoughts down. Just to like brain dump, you know? If you need more encouragement to do that, this is a really great notebook diary thing that you guys can check out. And I just want to thank that viewer. And I actually saved the, the package that it came from so I could send back something like a thank you letter but actually lost it in the process of moving I don't know what her address is anymore so if you're watching can you leave me a comment or write on my Instagram give me a message and because I want to send something back the second item that this is probably the one thing in this last two months that have really changed my life and it's actually a book called Soul for Happy by Mo Gordat. Essentially, it's a book written by a Google X executive. The book is obviously called Soul for Happy, and so he breaks each topic down into these really fundamental themes. So one is thought, one is self, one is knowledge, um, and you know, all these things create our identity, right? Within each of these themes, he points out how we as humans have, how we choose to see and give energy to the negative aspects of our life, which then causes stress, which causes unhappiness, which causes ungratefulness, and therefore just makes you a really like bitter human, right? He's not saying that humans are like that, but he says that when anyone is upset, which is inevitable, we all get upset. He says it in a way that kind of explains the situation going on in the head with facts. All the points that he makes kind of goes back to this equation. You are only unhappy because your expectations of certain events exceed the reality of the situation. Okay, so for example, in the morning, you want to get to work on time, right? So when you're stuck on a train, for example, if you're in New York City, you're stuck on a train and it's not moving, the aircon is cut or whatever, like everyone will be stressed out, right? So the reason why you're upset, stressed, angry is because you, in your mind, expected that you would be at work at nine. And the fact that this has happened has obviously impeded on that thought or that plan. I'm sorry, the sun keeps going in and out. And so all the thoughts that come about in the moment that you're stuck on a train, you're late, oh my God, it's gonna be a bad day, all these negative thoughts start coming in. And he pretty much explains none of these negative thoughts that come into your head at these moments play any part in making the situation different. You're still gonna be stuck on a train. There's still gonna be a bunch of people sweating around you. So what is the point of you being negative and feeding off these negative thoughts that you create in your mind? Seeing the reality of the situation and then accepting that reality 
for what it is than being like, okay, if there's nothing I can do in this situation, I'll let it be. And this can be taken to extreme levels, it can be taken to really surface levels. And then he also goes in to talk about like the illusions of time and knowledge. We've always been primed to think that we need to gain knowledge and having knowledge is what will make people respect you, blah, blah, blah. And that is correct, but it impedes us on being able to be happy in that when you think you know something, you think that's like the be all end all and anyone who argues with you is wrong because you think that that is correct or that is the situation. You're pretty much just being a bottleneck to yourself and creating this tension when anything doesn't go your way. And so anyway, I could go on and on. If you are into personal development, not in a hippie kind of way, but like actual practical principles that you can implement into your life, or even if you struggle with trying to mentally clarify things in your life, I think this is probably one of the best books I've read. And I'm actually gonna throw this in to the Instagram giveaway with a bunch of other things. I'm not gonna tell you what's in there until I kind of finalize it, but this will definitely be in there because I highly recommend you read it. And I've given this to my friends, I've given this to my boyfriend, and all of them are just like, whoa. So the sun has gone down again, and I'm gonna take that as my cue to wrap up this video. I really hope you've enjoyed the things that I've mentioned, and make sure you're following my Instagram so that you can enter the giveaway. I'll update you guys on that. And I'm also in the process of rebooting um, my blog. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted with that. Let me know if you have any questions about anything or in general. And I hope you guys are having a great week and day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And subscribe. Subscribe.